All right, uh, back to the news that we brought you earlier on that incident that happened at the U.S.-Canada border. The FBI Buffalo office just released a statement confirming that there was a vehicle explosion at the Rainbow Bridge. Uh, they say that they are coordinating with local, state, and federal partners in this investigation. They add that the situation uh, is very fluid at this time, as you can imagine. That goes without saying. Uh, what you're looking at now is that's a, that's a shot of... That's a shot of the American side. Uh, and if that is where the uh, vehicle exploded, you can't really see it from this angle. The American side and the Canadian side of this bridge look, look very much the same, so it's sometimes difficult to discern which is which. But we do know that um, this uh, video was taken from the American side, and it kind of looks like that's a fire hose down there on the ground, maybe to put out the flames. But the pictures that we're seeing online, uh, there's a lot of flames, there's a lot of twisted metal. Uh, that is either the toll booth or it's the customs check-in. Uh, difficult, again, to know from this angle exactly uh, which is which. Uh, John, this just in now to the yeah. newsroom. It sounds like we have Fox News has confirmed that one male has been taken into the hospital with some kind of injury. Uh, resulting from this incident, whether it was an explosion uh, of a vehicle or something else, it sounds like this is the first confirmed injury to a person that we know about as the story is developing. Yeah, uh, well, you can imagine, though, that if if there were people in the vehicle and the vehicle blows up, there may be Someone's other casualties. Yeah. Uh, this is a real mystery at 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 this point, was there an explosive device in the vehicle? Was there some catastrophic malfunction? I mean, cars usually don't just blow up. They can catch right. fire. But, uh, you know, the authorities are, are only at the very beginning of looking into this. So we'll get more information on this as uh, time progresses. We're also reaching out to our contributors uh, to see what they and their sources know. So stick with us on this, because this is really puzzling. We do know according to Christopher Wray, who's testified about this twice in Congress, that there is an elevated threat of terrorism against the United States as a result of all the unrest in, in the Middle East. We're not saying that this is terrorism, but just to say that there is an elevated threat. When a vehicle blows up, your spider sense obviously starts tingling. And the mayor's office there confirming that federal authorities are investigating. So hopefully we'll get new information out of there. Uh, over the remainder of this hour. We will bring it to you as it comes in. Yeah, so again, uh, updating from the hospital, a male 27 at Niagara Falls Memorial Hospital with minor injuries, back pain, minor cuts. We don't know if this was a person who was in the vehicle, uh, if it was somebody who was working, uh, one of these either toll booths or customs checkpoints. Uh, status of this uh, patient, not severe which is good news. No other victims in the hospital at this time. But, but again, if some reports that we're hearing that there were multiple people in the car when it exploded are correct, then there's bound to be other casualties. Yeah.